Hi, I want to give you an overview of the state budget and LBCC's budget as they currently stand. For more specifics, I encourage you to review the campus-wide memo I sent on Friday, January 20th. Last week, we received the final details of the 2012-13 proposed budget from Governor Brown. His budget proposal identifies and tries to close a $9.2 billion budget deficit. The plan calls for a reduction in expenditures of $4.2 billion and an increase in revenues of $4.7 billion, primarily through a new tax measure scheduled for the November 2012 ballot. As expected, there are no new funds provided to community colleges and there is a risk of more mid-year cuts. I say more mid-year cuts because last month the state imposed mid-year cuts on community colleges totaling $102 million. For Long Beach City College, these mid-year cuts total more than $1.9 million. Furthermore, we have just learned that the Chancellor's Office will be imposing a deficit factor on community colleges, which equates to additional cuts of $2.4 to $2.9 million. Our adopted budget anticipated cuts of nearly $1 million. However, we are now expecting at least $3.4 million in reductions. In addition to decreasing revenues, the state is also decreasing the amount of FTES that they will fund as well. LBCC's workload measure reduction has reduced our FTES from 19,618 to 19,319, which significantly limits the number of courses we can offer. For spring 2012, LBCC is not planning to change our offerings. However, we will have to adjust our course offerings in the 2012-13 fiscal year proportionately with the reduced workload funded by the state. In addition to these reductions, the budget includes a $10 per unit increase in enrollment fees that will take effect in summer of 2012 and will bring the total to $46 per unit. To make matters worse, if the ballot measure does not pass, then there will be mid-year cuts totaling over $260 million, which would cut another $4.9 million from LBCC's budget and would reduce our FTES workload by 1,075 FTES for a new base of 18,244. If this happens, our FTES would be down to a level not seen in over a decade. As you can see, our budget challenges continue due to the state's budget mess. Although we know that what the governor has proposed won't be the exact budget that is signed, it is a good indicator that we won't receive additional funds and will likely be cut further. Since this is just the start of the budget season, we have begun preparing for next year and will be determining what our fiscal outlook entails. I expect that we may need to reduce our expenditures again and will work with the Budget Advisory Committee to identify ways of doing so. Also, I will be asking CPC to form a task force charged with developing a plan that could be implemented mid-year if the tax measure fails. I and the entire executive team will do our best to keep you informed as developments at the state level happen. Once we do have a signed budget from the state, we will determine what next steps need to be taken. Despite the uncertainty, I remain confident that our college will come through this very difficult time stronger than ever by working collectively and focusing on the best interests of our students.